All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Monday. That means that we are playing Cyber Angel. So once again, here's the deck. Uh, we're going with more of the pure Cyber, 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 cyber Angel plays. Um, you know, it's kind of running into, uh, I wouldn't say problems, but maybe a little bit of difficulties when it came to uh, I, you know, running back to Horrocks and stuff. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just try to run it pure. Let me try to see what I can do. Uh, with just them, and I threw in the Star Seraphs because they're a nice normal summon, plusing, drawing, fairy, you know, shenanigans, and it's nice to go ahead and be able to search when you tribute Ben 10 for my chair, you know, because I got the stick, I just, I'm just i going to grab the chair and then hopefully go off next turn, so I'm going to go ahead and ritual summon. I want to summon Ida 10? Yeah. This card's ritual summon, you can add one ritual spell. I'm going to summon Ida 10 and I'm going to tribute Ben 10. You know how it is. So both of y'all get the searches, which is nice. Uh, so, I uh, talked a little about, about the stream, but, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2, getting that in the works, still inviting a nice chunk of people. Um, if you're wondering, you know, who else, um, uh, Token Black Yu-Gi-Oh! guy, uh, I asked him, he said that he'd be glad to join, so, uh, that should be interesting. And, um, uh, Wasp, Wasp, you might not know his name. I don't remember the, name of his, the rest of his name, but I'm going to invite him as well. You know, I'm trying to find these YouTubers who aren't as big, but are consistent with uploads, with consistent with the content, without, uh, not including all, you know, past people invited from season one to return and, uh, you know, friends and stuff like that, who not necessarily have a channel, but, you know, uh, still provide content for me. So it's just infinity not deck. So that's great. <laughs> uh... It's just too easy. You'd throw in some cyber dragons with the with the just thi just this chronomaly. It's just too easy, you know. Insta fusion, galaxy. So it's just infinity dot deck. It's just like I bust out infinity. That's my job. Like okay, I guess so. <laughs> so this should be fun, and by fun I mean not fun at all. But so it's good to go ahead and start getting that organized. Like I said, uh, I want to uh, you know work harder on it after my birthday because uh, you know my birthday is coming up. So I was like definitely get this done. So, uh, great. So, I gotta deal with Infinity. So, a nice, good negate should be fun. Uh, that should be, that should be awesome. So, I'm gonna go ahead and play P Preparation of Rights. You can be like Negate, and I'm gonna have fine. And, uh, that's how I say you're gonna let me get that, which is fine. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I really don't have anything to Ritual Summon. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this discard. Oh, I can add a Light Ritual Monster, so that's good. Because I'm gonna get, of course, two, uh, Machine Angel. So I guess I'll go ahead and get Ben 10. Yeah, give me Ben 10. And, uh, yeah, sure. I guess I'll go ahead and get that because that's just a nice little plus. That should be, that should be one, right? Yeah, it's one. So when I go ahead and activate my, my ritual sanctuary, I can go ahead and pitch one of the Machine Angels rituals. That'll be two, get my search, and then I still have one in my hand to do a ritual summon. And I, then I can... Oh, wow, you're just going to go ahead and negate that. That is... That's totally fine. That's totally fine. So he must be pretty confident in his, uh, his back row then. So I guess I'll go ahead and get me some nice plusage then. Unless, of course, your set card is something to fuck me. Oh, uh, yes it was. Yes it was. It was a bottomless. So that sucks. So maybe I can draw into some fucking plays. God, that sucks. God, that sucks. It's like, bam, bottom left. Like infinity plus the bottom left. Like, awesome. Oh, Jurdeki. That, that works too. That works. So, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and ritual. I'll throw, I'm going to definitely throw the Regeki at you, but I guess I'll go ahead and ritual summon Ben 10, I to 10, and all that great jazz. So, uh, it sucks that I didn't get my ritual sanctuary that you negated that, but I guess that's fine. So, we'll go ahead and ritual summon. I'm going to summon I to 10 and get rid of Ben 10. You know, the huge. Yes. Yes. So, just just straight up getting some plusing. And we got a whole bunch of Machine Angel Rituals, but I really got nothing much to do with them. Oh, I could probably end this duel, actually. If I summon Vishnu, no, because I'm going to pop and inflict a thousand, and then I can attack twice, right? If I have one more card in my hand, if I have one more card in my hand, I can go for Vishnu. I can go Donkany. What does Donkany do? Discard your summon. You can make your opponent send one ritual monster control. Put da his damage once a turn. You can target one ritual monster, one machine engine in your graveyard, add to your hand. That's pretty good. So I think I'll get Donkany and then ritual summon these two because these two aren't going to do anything now since he, you know, bottomless me. So 
Go to Duncany, get rid of you two. Duncany, Don Donkini? I think it, I think it's Donkini, like Bikini, Donkini. So go ahead and send your infinity. You don't need it. And uh, yeah, just uh, fuck up your day, and then I'll go ahead and grab back during Amphis. I'm kind of running out of plays though. That's the problem. It'd been nice if I got my actually my sanctuary. I mean, I'm running triple terraforming and stuff, so that's all, that's always good. So I'll go ahead and end. Donkini, go ahead and get me Ben Ten. Ben Ten? Yeah, Ben Ten. Me Ben Ten back. So he's playing Infinity Dot deck. I wouldn't be surprised if he just goes ahead and busts out another Infinity. You know, takes my my Dakini and runs over my Idaten. Wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's Infinity Dot deck, right? I said, I stopped playing Infinity Dot deck because it's just too easy. It's just like, yeah, just anything that could make Infinity, you're running it. Cyber Dragon, Insta Fusion for your Panzer Dragon, Galaxy Soldier, this guy, the freaking Chrono Mally, uh Golden Jet, Zwei. I think I think that's the one. Zwei. So. <laughs> Yep, there's Galaxy Soldier, just Infinity Dot Deck, like I said, that's all you do. That's all you do. I, I generally don't even think they play anything that involves polling or anything to actually fuse properly. It's just, it's just Infinity Dot Deck. Infinity Dot Deck. <laughs> infinity Dot Deck. So good. Just Infinity, 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 Infinity. Like, alright, I get it. You can pump out Infinity. Cool story, bro. <laughs> so hopefully I draw into something. I definitely need to draw into something to handle Infinity. I got the Regeki, so I can go ahead and throw the Regeki at him. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's actually gonna summon Cyber Dragon back too. That's surprising. Why not? Why do I actually do materials on, you know, on Nova? Why waste your time? Wow, and YGO Pro crashes. All right, YGO Pro. I guess you didn't want me to do Infinity that deck. You're like, the cancer is too much. I'm crashing. All right, <laughs> apologize about that. Be right back. All right, people, another duel. Uh, I actually faced someone who was playing Chain Burn, but I'm not going to give that to you guys, because that's boring. So, <laughs> yeah, just you know, running into the mm, you know? Just run into the mmm. <laughs> this hand's not bad. This hand's not bad. I got, of course, got my uh, searching and all my setup. Ooh, maybe Blue Eyes or maybe actually Dragonities. I don't know. Bust out that Crystal Meth, and I'll definitely run into a problem. Definitely. <laughs> We already know the power of crystal meth. Nope, it's, it's assault mode. <laughs> the assault mode activate. Awesome. So that's great. So I'm just going to deal with fucking that. Oh my god. Fucking Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes, man. Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. At least he didn't go off. <laughs> so I'm thinking about just maybe twin twistering him. Like, fuck it. You know, just fuck it. Just fucking fuck you, twin twister. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I opened up kind of slow, you yeah, know, but I bet his his set cards are very important. And I got the solid morning too. I don't live in the ghetto. Oh my god, freaking! Just I live on that major street though, like that major street though. All right, go ahead and get my ritual. I think I'll maybe wait for him to do Dragon Ravine, get more set up. Depends. It really depends. I think I'll just go ahead and summon Manju and take it slow. No, summon Petite Angel. Take it slow. Summon Petite. Go ahead and get my search. Unless your set card is something to fuck me up, in which case, I guess, you know. Like my Ritual Sanctuary. I, I learned. My Ritual Sanctuary can go ahead and give me and summon my Petite Angel back, and it says when it's summoned. So she's in the graveyard, and I got two spell cards. Return to two spell cards. Summon Petite Angel. Get another search. Like, it's so good. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get me Ben 10. Like, I'm not going to Ritual Summon this turn, so. And then I'll go ahead and set two cards and hopefully not get Twin Twister, because that would suck. If this set card is Twin Twisters, then just fuck me, because I really want to keep... I might go ahead and just set the Machine Angel Ritual, too. This is a bluff. Because all all three of these cards will be very helpful. Maybe should have held on to the Twin Twisters, but maybe not. Especially... No, no, because it's good, because he's playing Crick and Assault Mode, so as soon as he goes Beast and then sets his card, then I could just be like, nah, you know. So, go ahead and activate Dragon's Ring, so I can go ahead and... Oh, there's Assault Beast. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead and get your Assault Mode activate. That's fine. Now... Should I hit you with the Twin Twister now? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, so you don't even get set up. Ah, I kind of want all these cards. I kind of want all these cards. No, and no. 
I'm assuming that this is maybe another uh, activate. Or maybe it could be like a dark vibe or something. It was a breakthrough skill. You probably should have breakthrough skilled my cyber angel. Ah, and then you quit. Fuck your assault mode activate. Fuck that. Ah, sackiness is real. Get another duel. Bear back. God, the sackiness is real today. First it's infinity.dat, then it's chain burn, then it's assault mode uh, activate, and it looks like maybe monarchs or something. Like, no extra deck or so, probably something sacky. Like, God damn, a sacking capital of the world today. Like, all right. This hand's actually pretty good. It's actually, this hand's actually really good. Cause I can go ahead and just drop fucking, I, wow. You're not gonna do anything? That's actually kind of boring. It's actually kind of boring that you're not gonna do anything. Cause now I really don't want to do anything either. So that's, that's, that's lame. That's lame. Like, nothing? Nothing. No set? No nothing. Because, god, this hand's actually really great. Uh, go ahead and Ritual Summon. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Ida 10 by getting rid of Ben 10. Like, wow. Yes, yes. I guess I'll go ahead and get them set up. Grab that back, and go ahead and get me Chair. Chair, chair, chair. Chair, chair? Don't want Chair? Yeah, because I got Stick. If I didn't have stick, I probably wouldn't got chair. But stick and chair is just, you know, some crazy plusage. Yeah. And it's very nice and fair. It's like Fenten just makes this Star Surf engine a lot more viable. Not that it wasn't viable before, I just never got hit in the TCG, so. Uh, for now, I think I'm actually pretty good. I'll just take it slow. My opponent doesn't want to do anything. Like, you have no extra deck. Like, you're probably playing Monarchs, which will suck, but... I just want to get like one decent duel. One decent duel in this entire 20 to 30 minute video. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm not lucky. It'll probably be Monarchs, even though, wow, still nothing. Still nothing. That's crazy. How do you have nothing? Like, are you fucking shitting me, man? Like, either you open, you're playing Monarchs and you open up like shit or something. Because holy crap. Uh, I could probably just go for Ouroboros and pick something out of your hand and then probably go ahead and do and pop my own shit, so. What I'll probably do, go ahead and set this since I have multiples, and then just do the stick chair combo and start plussing. Yes. Stick and chair. Ah, uh, like, are you playing Monarchs and you just opened up like shit? That's what I kind of feel like is going on right now. Of course, we'll go ahead and chair it up again. Play, draw a card. Oh, well, I'll go ahead and play one of these and pop it ahead and go into my Ouroboros, U3, and I'll be like, Ouroboros, Scepter effect? Oh, sure, pop my own card. I got another one, so that's all good. And yes, I would love to draw a card, another card. So we'll go ahead and use my effect. I guess it really doesn't matter. You only, your special summon two. I already used two chairs, though. So even if I return, if I special summon you and get a search, it really doesn't matter. I guess I'll go ahead and detach you in the way. Uh, pick that card? Yeah, it is Monarchs. Alright, so I guess it's just Monarchs doing absolutely fucking nothing, so that's fun. <laughs> I guess. Uh, so I can go ahead and activate this. Yeah, I could tell. Two turns of fucking nothing with monarchs. Like, come on, come on, come on. Uh, uh I got I to ten, so that would increase everybody by five thousand. This should be game. Like, this should be game. But I didn't drop Vishnu. Too bad I'm not gonna attack twice with Vishnu, but I shouldn't need to. I'll go ahead and grab me Ben ten. Then I should be able to take third four of these and summon back my scepter. Summon back scepter. One, two, three, four. I mean, it's after, like, fuck it. Okay, I might as well just go all out. I might as well go all out. If I'm doing gets monarchs with a bad hand, then kick their ass, right? So, we'll go ahead and do ritual summon. Go ahead and summon Vish by sending... I guess you two. Because it really doesn't matter. The thousand pack game would be nice, too. So, I to ten, then ten. I said, I think I'm at... I'm at I got the chair. I got the stick, like, it's all good, it's just, I, I don't have another chair. Plus, I don't know how many fairies I have in my, gra in my graveyard. I could drop that crystal if I knew how many. 
guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, GG. I guess. So if I knew how many fairies I had in my graveyard, I probably have exactly four. Nope, I have three. Yep. Yeah, and then another duel of not goodness. It was not only was a monarchs, but he didn't do anything anyway. Wow. Yep, because that would have been attack, 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 attack. So, mm. Alright, get another duel. Bear back. Alright, another duel. Come on. Come on. I just. I want to get a decent duel. <laughs> Uh, this hand's kind of eh. Because I'm not sure how, how I still feel about Dakini and Vishnu. I guess I like Vishnu better than Dakini, but, you know, it definitely seems like I like the Ben 10, Ida 10. Those so sisters are both six, and they play off of each other so well. But outside of that, they're both just kind of eh, you know? They're both just, just kind of eh. So we'll go ahead and just do the normal summon the Manju. Go ahead and search me my... I guess my machine named a ritual. Kind of debating on what I want to do. I can discard a spell card so I can discard that machine angel to get me like the Ben 10, but I'm still a little short. Like, I'm short a card or two. Like, Donkey is not adding to this hand at all. I wanted to play it, I wanted to try to play it, you know, closer to pure, but I'm just not sure how I feel about it. Oh shit, it's blue eyes. Alright, if it's Blue Eyes, I'm probably gonna get the shit kicked out of me, because you already know. Blue Eyes is power. I could send and. Ah. Uh, I'm not even sure if I want to set the Twin Twisters either. Nah, no, because even set anything. Like, it's Blue Eyes, I'm gonna get the shit kicked No, because you can summon Spirit and banish me, so that wouldn't be smart. You can banish it with one of my cards. So. Yep, see, so there's no point. There's no point setting or playing anything. Alright. So go ahead, drop alternate, drop everything on me. Like, it's weird seeing Blue Eyes take it so slow. Oh, another spirit? God damn. Oh, another ancient white stone? Attack and then go into your synchro monster. You can hop out of the way and summon your other synchro monster. I kind of wish I would open up a little bit better. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I could get over his Synchro Monster, because I can go Ben 10, Ida 10. Actually, he can negate me with his white, blue eye Spirit Dragon, right? Because I don't believe you have an on-field effect. I drew another Ida 10, so that's, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great. Go ahead and activate my uh, Ritual Sanctuary. It'd be great if I can add... Oh, I can add a monster. If I gotta pitch a spell, I guess I'll pitch a Twin Twister, because it doesn't look like I'm gonna get much use out of it. Not right now, so I'll go ahead and pitch the Twin Twister. And go ahead and get me Benton. Then I can go ahead and go Machine Angel Ritual. Uh, I believe it goes Ida 10 Benton, so I don't think he can stop me with Spirit. I don't think. I want to summon Ida 10 by sending Ben 10. Uh, can I get rid of him? That's the question. Can I get rid of him? I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ben 10 is chain link 1. Oh, he's just going to tag out now. Okay. I thought, I think maybe he thought he can negate me, but I'm chain link one, which means that you can't do that. And I will go ahead and get me stick. So, this turn, dragon monsters cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Uh, does Ouroboros target when I do that? Let me see, Ouroboros. Yep, target one card my opponent controls and return it to the hand. Oh, that sucks. Uh, It'd be nice if I can go into like Utopia the Lightning and tackle over his ass, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull that off. Is there any rank six? You target, I know that. Attach, target, target. I could just negate you with Photon Strike Bounder if I can bust out another Ida 10. Maybe, if I can bust out another Ida 10, I can go into Photon Strike Bounder. Now we'll just go ahead and do the Stick Chair plays and go ahead and draw some nice cards. As you already know, Stick Chair plus in is nice. It'd be great if I had like a freaking 
a rank four, so I mean, I got a level four. I already normal summon, so. Go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and play this. Because these, these two have to, these got to go into a rank three. Uh, you know, uh, that requires three. This sucks, I can't go into like Utopia the Lightning. I can only go into Deltaros who targets, or Ouroboros who targets, you know. I can send one random card from my opponent's end to graveyard, target a card in my gra opponent's graveyard, banish that target, or target a card that controls my turn in the hand. Nor do I think that I can play- oh wait, I can just do I to 10, and then summon Donkey, and then gain that thousand. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good, so I guess I'll go ahead and go into Ouroboros, and then target my own filled spell. No, I- oh, 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 that's how I did I click it? No, actually I could just go ahead and set the machine into Ritual, and then pop that. I'll go ahead and go into Ouroboros. Yes. Pop my own card, because I can't even target you. Yes, drop card. Alright, alright. Uh, how many do I got? I have close to enough. Close to enough. So I'll go ahead and send the card randomly from opponent's hand to the graveyard. And hopefully not send, like, Something that he would really want to send to Grey Rider. Wow, Red Eyes too? Red Eyes, that Red Eyes fusion? I'm glad I got rid of that. So, once I do that, I can go ahead and get rid of all of these. Ah, uh, actually, I should have sent. Hmm, actually, it really doesn't matter. So, we'll go ahead and. Ritual summon. Uh, I want to summon Duncany, and I'll get rid of I 10, and I really don't need Scepter anymore. I kind of. I don't mind keeping I to 10 because I'm going to go up to a 26 beater. So, yeah. Brunkany. I to 10. What do you do? Oh, I make you send a monster. That's right. I forgot. I make you just send a monster you control. That's it. I forgot about the Donkey. Donkey. I don't target. Send your monster. Send your monster to the graveyard. You don't need it. Wow, my bar is filling up quick. I need to conduct my battle phase and get it in. Wish my, I'm doing plays. So I wish my bar would go down, but looks like my bar is about to be filled up. Is my bar gradually going down while he's selecting his monster? Like, I need you to select that Azurize and send it to the graveyard. That doesn't target. That's pretty power. I just make my opponent send one of the monsters they control to the graveyard. So go ahead and send that Azurize for me. And then tack, tack, tack. And that sh might be game? That might be game? It's 37 plus 26 plus 70. I mean, 2750? I think that might be game. It's Red Eyes plus Blue Eyes. So Red Eyes Fusion, though. Come on. Go ahead and send your freaking Azurize. I forgot about that effect of Duncany. I was like, I'm like, I don't really like Duncany. Like, what? What? Duncany makes you send a opponent's monster and then you do Pierce and that grab back during the end phase? That's, that's all good. That's all good. Except that it says ritual monster, not just a fairy monster. If it was just a fairy monster, then it'd be power. Opponent's bar is sitting there filling up, kind of waiting for you to just send your Azure Eyes. That's all I want you to do. Unless you quit, because I think that might be game. This, 37 plus 26 plus 75, I mean 75, oh, 2750, yeah, that should be game. And that nice Azure Eyes out of the way, I mean, I was going to tack over it, but I forgot, I could just send you. Completely forgot about that effect of uh, Dakini, so that's pretty power. Go, go, Alexis, go, Alexis. <laughs> ah, and it was all thanks to drawing, going hella plus off of them Star Seraphs. So good. Then Ted helps me get one of the other pieces, and it just, draw, draw, exceed pop, draw, like, it's amazing that they never hit the, the engine in the TCB, the Star Staff engine. This kind of fell off, you know? So, I'm guessing that my opponent kind of quit, because I'm just sitting here waiting. I don't want to quit, because I should be able to win this duel, but it looks like either my opponent quit, or he's just taking forever to respond. <laughs> I mean, he could still do some plays. If he if he survives his turn, I don't believe he gets he got this though. During his end phase, if he get, if he gets this, I'm not sure. No, um, I I don't know. Looks like my opponent quit. Looks like they're like, oh fuck it, I quit. Like okay, because their bar is filling up. My bar is almost filled. That'd be suck if their bar fills up and it just says that I lose. Sometimes why do pro and Depro does that shit? Like what? What do you mean? Like I, their the bar, their bars want to fill up. Not that I'm ever playing rated on here. I don't even think there's a rated system on YG Pro. Dev Pro, yeah, but I'm not sure about YG Pro. All right, yep, his bar fell up, so I win. 
Alright, get another door here. Alright. This should be the last duel of this video. Meh. How's this hand? Eh. Am I going first or second? You're going first, alright. Oh, Dark Magician. Wow, Blue Eyes and Dark Magician? Just the generic shit. Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, and Saki shit. Alright. <laughs> Uh, this hand's okay, so I can go ahead and, of course, tribute Ben 10, get I to 10. It really comes down to what I draw next. It really comes down to what I draw next. What do you get? Navigate? Oh, and he's got the circle? Oh, disgusting. I hope I draw Twin Twisters. I hope I draw Twin Twisters. That'd be great. Circle, grab another circle. Yep. Oh, I just gotta hope that he doesn't have Dark Magician in his hand, which he might. He might have the, the tag out. Nice, nice chunk of back row, of course, because it's, it's Dark Magician. <laughs> The deck that plays during your opponent's turn, of course. There's no point in me even doing the Rideki. Like, I'll try to play, but I'm not sure if, if I'm gonna get, if anything's gonna come of this. Because, of course, you know, Dark Magician can easily fuck me up during my turn, so. So I'll go ahead and, uh, Ritual Summon. I got no Twin Twister, so whether he summons the Navigate, which I don't think it is, unless, it, unless it's Dark Magician in his hand, but... And he set one of the circles? No, he's gonna illusion. Yep, I knew it. Like he has illusion? Yep. So now he can go ahead and spot banish me during my turn. You know how dark missions are. He it seems like he opened up really well. Really well. I'm gonna hide a time get rid of Ben So fact the fact. I might be able to game him? No. Because I didn't only flip thousand and I attacked twice. If I ritual summon I to ten, get rid of I to ten. But I think he's about to spot banish me right now, so that's no good. Go ahead and give me a petite angle so I can go ahead and give me some searching. I said it really depends. I'm trying to figure out when he's going to ritual summon. Because I might be able to game him. Might. That's the thing, might. If he has eternal soul, then no. But if he doesn't, then yeah. Alright, there's Navigate. Wait, well, I don't need a Geki. He's gonna, of course, summon two monsters, and I can... It really depends on the set cards. Ooh, Haiku. Ooh, Haiku. So, it doesn't that say that any cards that are sent to the graveyard are banished? No, no. If he inflicts damage from me, he's removed from play. The opponent can now remove play monsters for me to play. For me to play his graveyard, that's fine. I don't plan to replay it anyway. So, I got Vishnu. I can just summon Vishnu, pop his two cards, flip 2,000, tack, tack, game, so... Uh, it really depends on, and I'm level 10, right? So I guess I'll go ahead and grab me a Ben 10. So I can get that search. So it really depends on these two set cards. Oh, that sucks. Probably should have got another item 10. No, I can't do that. Can't game him now. I can't even I can't even summon this actually. Hmm, that sucks. I forgot about the spot vanishing. Completely forgot about the spot vanishing. Not that I would have been able to have it anyway. Uh that sucks. Oh, no, you got it. Get another duel. Bear back. Alright, get another duel. Hmm, how's this hand? This hand's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna and some two angel get me my uh my Ben 10 and go ahead and do that. That's pretty good. Uh, depends on what we're facing. God. Oh, never mind. I drew. I drew. <laughs> I drew the I, the Ben 10. So that's interesting. Hmm. I can search for like Donkey. Really depends on what I'm gonna do this turn. I think I'll probably end up taking it slow. We'll go ahead and summon Petite. Get my search on. Wow, that went right through it too. Um, maybe set up Vishnu? Vishnu Vishnu can easily end the game, depending on what my opponent has. You know, if my opponent has two monsters summoned from the extra deck, combined with their double attacking, like that's a game. Like, that's power. If I, especially if I tribute Ida 10 too, for it to go up to 4,000, like I can easily kill someone. That's pretty power. Uh, Ben 10 once per turn. I don't think so. Okay, let me grab my fish now. And I'll go ahead and control summon. I'm gonna summon I to ten for ben ten. 
I ten. Get my search. Get my search. Done that. And hmm. I don't think that's enough for two monsters. I think that's only one, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Give me scepter. In the next turn, I can summon Monju, then get a. Uh, or probably, depending on what happens to my Petite Angel, I can summon that back, get Ben 10, and Ritual Summon Ben 10. Oh. Yep. It's a little light. Uh, that kind of caught me off guard. Did I say. Uh, did I select second? I think I selected second. Yeah, I selected second. I bet this deck likes to go second. Alright, so. Two spells, so if he kills my Petite Angel, I could just play this, return those two, summon, search, and then probably best have my Star Sheriff place. But if you can't summon the one I can't destroy a battle, I can handle that, or if one I can't destroy a card that I can I should be able to handle that, so it should be good. Yeah, because I can go into Ouroboros and just spin you. So So Lexus versus Serena. <laughs> the both the both the uh... Both from the fusion dimension. Interesting. So you're gonna start busting out some fusion points now? Looks like it. You got that sheep. Sheep is like one of the best monsters. Yep. Got the poly. You go shuck him. Oh, yep. Some rabbit. Rabbit summon you back from the graveyard. Coming you back sheep. Yep. You sheep. You go shuck him. Like I said, I wish that Lunar Lights would get a monster that when it's used as a, as a fusion material, that you get the poly back. That'd be great. Like, Sheep Knight, you get the monsters back, but you need to get Polly back, you know? I hope they get more support. It's been, it's been a while since we've seen Serena, though. That's the problem. Uh, there's Cat Dancer. Actually, even if he goes into Leo Dancer, I can still get over that, because I can go up to a 4,000 beater. Okay, same body. Go ahead and tribute off. And then attack me twice. That is totally fine. Do you like attack everyone twice? No, I'll just die. Well, I won't die the first time, but I'm taking a crap ton of damage. Ow. No. Say, are you able to game me right now? No. Ooh, I took a crap ton of damage. Hmm. I can save Ida 10 and then gain the 1,000. Do I want to do that though? No, because I don't want to banish, because I'd actually like to go ahead and keep that. Actually, I won't be able to just game you. If I save you, then Ritual Summon, Vishnu, pop. Hmm. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. God, it's a collect a crap ton of damage. And that's just cat dance there. Like, god damn, I got it. I got I knew. <laughs> if only I knew. Oh, never mind. You're another petite angel. Never mind. So. Hmm. Huh. So, I can go ahead and summon petite angel. Search for Ben 10. Machine angel ritual. Summon Vishnu by sending, you know, the by sending Ben 10, petite angel, and Manju. Is that 10? Yeah, that's more than 10. Summon blow our out, you take a thousand, I'll be able to attack twice. Then go into my Star Shark play, pop your set card, and then that should be game. It should be game. So go ahead and give me Ben 10. And Shining Ritual, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Vishnu by sending Ben 10, and I think Ben 10 Manju would be enough. Yeah, Ben 10 Manju. Vish. Yes. Yes. What does this do? I mean, I guess. Uh, sure. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. No, I guess I'll go ahead and activate my second effect. Return to the deck. Hold on. You have additional effect. My strongly one is responsible. Blah blah. If you do make a second attack, once per turn during either player's turn, when a card effect is activated, that will destroy cards on cards on the field. You can shovel when we're Oh shit. Oh shit, I think I just killed myself. I think I just killed myself. Yep, I just killed myself. Well, yeah. 
Woo! I got I can negate that. Holy shit, I almost fucked up. I was like, I was like, wait, you have another effect? I thought that was activating the to attack twice. No. I I should fucking just negate it my own effect to uh blow you up and then if I do I get to attack twice. I don't think I'll be able to get game. Oh, and I already conducted my normal summon, so that's not good. Yep, I, I fucked up royally in this duel. Are you once per turn? You're once per turn too. God damn it. God I fucked up. God I fucked up. Wow. Wow, I, f I fucked up royally. Yeah, you got it. I, f I fucked up royally. Why did I give myself? I forgot that she did that. I totally forgot that she did that. Wow, I fucked up royally. I should have fucking played the retreat neutral, not use my normal summon, return summon PJ and got the search and then did this play. Pop that set card, but nope, I fucked up. Uh, I fucked up. That was my bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. It'd be nice if I just would have blew her up, but I fucking negated my own shit. Like, I completely forgot that she did that. I remember doing that, I was like, alright, flip the thousand, tap twice, but I totally forgot that if a card activated that would destroy cards on the field, I can shuffle a ritual monster back and negate the activation and destroy a card, so I would negate and destroy myself. Like, Vishnu was like, hey, I can fuck myself up. Like, alright, cool story, with you. Totally confused myself. Well, good job, Dan. Good job. Good job, Miss Plane. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Forget this. Uh, wow, that was terrible. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Dolls. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, so, I will be back tomorrow tagging, playing with Silent Swordsman. Like I said, uh, I'm playing more of an Ignite version, so hopefully that, that goes better than just PK, because it was mostly just PK, and that was kind of... <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Uh, deck suggestions should be up, so go ahead and suggest a deck for the for June to July. Of course, the decks are currently on. Get another month. If you want another month of Cyber Angels, go ahead, because god damn, I, I probably need it, because god, I fucked up. That was bad. That was bad. That was terrible. <laughs> so, because let's see, I would have flicked at a thousand. No, you would know, have flicked at a thousand, tacked twice, so I would have only been seven thousand. Even if I would have summoned back my, it depends if it was on my graveyard, but even if I would have summoned back another Petite Angel, that would only been, you know, six hundred, so he had one hundred left, and that would have been plenty to go ahead and give me. And I forgot to put the fucking rank two in. God damn it. God damn, I'm so bad. So yeah, I might need another month of Cyber Angels. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.